Yeah. 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 He said he took a razor blade on his own and, and cut the bullets out of his leg because he was too scared to go to the hospital because he says that the riot police came in and, and beat him while he was in his hospital bed. So he fled. And he still has the bullet in his eye. He can't see? He can't see. No. Oh my God, what happened to him? Sound bomb. A sound bomb? That's a literal translation in Arabic for what in English are called flashbang grenades. You have people wounded every day and you don't know how to deal with them. You don't know where to take them. Doctors are getting beaten, tortured inside the hospital. Nurses getting arrested and beaten inside the hospital. And it's really humanitarian crisis we are going through now. Even ambulance drivers say they've become targets. This man says police opened fire on his vehicle and then beat him up, breaking his leg. Bahrain's government gave us a packet of documents telling its side of the story, blaming Iran for instigating demonstrations and unrest. In one paragraph, they accuse activists of doctoring photos, fabricating injuries, and Bahrain's foreign minister says security forces are not firing on unarmed civilians. The police would not walk into a neighborhood and start shooting people. The police would be at the checkpoint or at the post. So they're not shooting into the neighborhoods right now? No, no, no. Bahraini officials also say that the overall situation in the country is calming down. But we saw people hiding in their homes. This whole place has been tear gassed. We heard gunshots in broad daylight. It seems security forces have contained the opposition in the villages, making it invisible to the rest of the world.